The Biden administration is trying to craft a new Iran nuclear deal. This latest report was triggered by a request from the largest state sponsor of terrorism. This is Dr. David Deshine welcoming you to a special edition of Saving America as the failed Biden administration is trying to look like it is doing something on the world stage. But boy, it's a highly questionable move. <laughs> Yes, the Iranians came to the whack Biden administration and said, hey, why don't we put in another deal? After all, the first one was so repressive and awful that we've continued to enrich uranium. We're up to 60 percent. We only need to get to 90 percent. Wouldn't you help us out by loosening sanctions so we can finish the job and then allegedly attempt to blow up Israel, their next door neighbor? Most of my audience will remember that the failed Obama administration, a year before he left office, made a pathetic deal with Iran. The idea was that if America was nicer to Iran, that Iran would not keep enriching uranium to make nukes. Obama shipped a pallet of cash over to Iran in exchange for that sad, ridiculous deal. That deal was never supported by the American people, but none of us were really given the chance to vote specifically on it. It was never honored by Iran, with its leaders continuing to claim that it's going to get nuclear weapons and then use them against Israel. What part of this has the Biden administration, and for that matter, the previous Obama administration, missed in all of this nonsense? And it is time for us to face facts Iran is the largest state sponsor of terrorism. We give them any break at all, they're going to use it to cause more mayhem, not just against Israel, but around the world, anti-America, anti-democracy. It is a clear problem with Iran as they've harassed American military um, interests in the Middle East. They are presently selling drones to the Russians to use against Ukrainians? What sense does this make to cut Iran any type of a deal at the present time? None whatsoever. The Trump administration cranked up sanctions. So Iran is sensitive to the fact that sanctions, at least in Iran's case, maybe not in Russia's case, but certainly in Iran's case, definitely work. And Iran needs more money to enrich more uranium. So it's coming to Biden and saying, oh, gee, before you get out of office, wouldn't you like to take care of us and have another great Iran nuclear deal? What idiots. Fortunately, a Republican Congress has advised Biden that any such deal is DOA, dead on arrival at the House. Any Dem who plans to run for re-election in our election in 2024 should be against this deal, but most of them are not smart enough to come out of the rain. Iran never honored the 2015 deal. Why should anyone believe they will honor a new deal? Every American, regardless of political party, must demand that there be no deal with terrorists. This is Dr. David Deshine for this special edition of Saving America. If you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe on your favorite platform.